It is the biggest issue. Voice is important, sure. The cost of living is hurting ordinary Australians. And rightly, it's got the Albanese government on the back foot. Despite the millions in the budget spent and all those goodies and handouts, well, that budget's got nowhere in terms of popularity. So the Treasurer's hitting the road. He's going to have a bit of a mini campaign to spruik everything that kicks in from the 1st of July. More childcare subsidies, more and a bigger paid parental leave scheme. A 15% wage hike if you are an aged care worker. Price caps on gas and coal. All the things he thinks is going to win voters over. Well, will it? Joining me now to discuss this, former Minister for Resources, Keith Pitt, Sky News contributor, of course, forward Howard Government Minister, former Howard Government Minister, Gary Hargraves. Gents, welcome as always. Um, Gary, these handouts, when you go through that list, yep. one of the things that I focus there is... You're only pregnant, you know, a couple of times. You've only got kids in childcare for a couple of years and only a handful of us are, ch are aged care workers. Other than that, we're all on our own. And the government sort of says, well, we should be feeling better off than we are. Well, we're not. We're all hurting. I mean, that's why the government's on the back foot. And, Peter, the reason that people are hurting is because government keeps intervening. I mean, they have intervened in the energy market to take away our natural advantage of cheap and available coal, taken that out of the power system and want us to go to all of these expensive renewables, driving up the price and, if you like, increasing the hurt that we're feeling. And every time government subsidises anything, everything always goes up. And governments only subsidise when they don't trust people. If they trusted us, they'd give us tax cuts. They'd allow us to make our own decisions about how we want to spend that money. So a tax break instead of a subsidy is far better because, I mean, a good example in Queensland, on the electricity front, for instance, the price of electricity is going up enormously, 20 30 per cent. They've been, they're going to give every household from 1 July $550 a household, but the price of electricity is going up about $1,600 a household because of government intervention, Peter. That's the problem. The philosophy of this government is they don't trust us. We shouldn't trust them.